Welcome to Nala's Kitchen, a show we cooked up to make a delicious food and to learn in the kitchen. Because what better classroom than the kitchen? None. On today's episode, we will be continuing the theme of national holidays the internet gives us. So what did the internet give us, specifically on August 4th? It is National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. You have plenty of time, enough time, some time, to have some people over, make some cookies for yourself, whatever it may be, but celebrate National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day with some chocolate chip cookies. That will be today's episode, my favorite go-to chocolate chip cookie recipe. First things first, your chocolate chips. This is up to you. I love a dark chocolate, however, I'm making it for crowds, so we'll do semi-sweet chocolate chip. I usually like to do bars because that's fun. It looks more like it's from a little like cafe, a little pastry situation. You know what I mean, like the real deal cut up and they're all great. However, I just got some chocolate chips from the store. And with that, you will need two cups. So it's essentially one bag, what is that, 12 ounces, like just one bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips from the store. Easy peasy. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's gonna be so good. I promise. Next, unsalted butter. You only need one cup, which is two sticks. Usually, it's a half a cup and a half a cup per stick. So two sticks, one cup, unsalted butter. In baking, I prefer, most prefer, to do unsalted butter because then you can control the salt. When it's salted butter, then you're like, ooh, how much more salt do I add? Blah, 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 blah. This way, you can control how much salt you have, and it's still gonna be great, because butter is great. You will need this to be at room temp, so have it sitting out for some time before you get started. Next, two eggs. Two eggs also at room temp. Hmm, these guys are a little bit different sizes. Interesting, that's fine. Next, one cup of light brown sugar packed. And when I say packed, that means you don't just scoop it or just sprinkle it on your measuring cup that you're using. You literally put it in and seal it on top and it is packed. Therefore, look at this perfect dome that has come up because it is packed. One cup of light brown sugar, light. Okay, next for our sugars, you need half a cup of granulated sugar. Just a half a cup that's good on our sugars. La ta 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 ta. La ta 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 ta. You need two cups plus a fourth cup of flour. So two and a fourth cup of flour. All purpose flour is the flour I will be using today for our salt that we get to control. It will be one and one fourth teaspoon of salt to taste, so if you're doing your batter and you're like, mm, I think it could use some more salt, go for it. I'm doing one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. All right, now, this is a big situation. Baking soda or baking powder for your cookies. Depends on what you would like, and it depends on what the rest of your ingredients are. Today, we will be using baking soda, and that will be three fourths teaspoon of baking soda. I've got baking soda, I got baking soda. And last but not least, we have one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mmm, smells so good. And now, we can get to mixing up our ingredients. Let's go! For our first situation, you will need two bowls. One bigger, one smaller. The bigger one will be where you put your wet ingredients because everything will be combined in that bowl. Your smaller bowl will be for your dry ingredients. It doesn't really matter what order you do. In the instructions, I'll probably put wet ingredients first. That's what I usually start with, but I'm feeling crazy and I'm just gonna start with dry ingredients. So in our small bowl, you're gonna grab your flour, your baking soda, and your salt, and just give it a mix, set to the side. Are you ready? Flour! Hello? Flour. All right, the rest of our flour. Boop, 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 boop. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Then we have our salt. I was really hoping that made it in the bowl. It did, we're good. All right, sprinkle, 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 salt, salt, salt. Then, baking soda. Now, we mix these together. It's just gonna be a quick mix, nothing crazy over here. You only got three ingredients, you just need them 
to be hanging out with each other for a little bit while we move on to the wet ingredients. All right, setting our flour to the side, dry ingredients, done. Moving on to wet ingredients. First, you're going to sneeze. Oh, now that I said that, I'm not gonna sneeze. First, you're going to grab your butter and your sugars. So your butter, your light brown sugar, and your granulated sugar. You're gonna dump that all in, and you're gonna start at like a low, medium, medium hot. You're gonna like start and then be like at a medium high and you're gonna beat this butter and sugar mixture for three to four minutes because you want it light and fluffy. I'll show you the difference as we go. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, three to four minutes, especially if you have a hand mixer and you're not using the fancy, you know, like stand mixer where you don't have to do anything, you can walk away. I know, it's gonna be a little bit of a workout where you're gonna be sitting here, all, oh, but it's worth it. It makes the cookie better. You want fluffy and creamy. First, dump butter. Room temperature. If it's not room temperature, throw it in the microwave just for a little bit until it comes to room temp. Not melted, just room temperature. Plop, plop, blah, dop. I always have one of these nearby. Just get all the remaining. All right, now our sugars. Granulated. Next, packed brown. This is just gonna be a flop, I bet. Ready, ready, ready? Flop. Exactly, cause it's packed. That's how you know it's packed. All right, now, we beat for three to four minutes cause we want light and fluffy. So in the beginning, this is what it'll look like and we'll check in in a couple minutes. This is about a minute in. One minute. Four minutes later, look at this. Very creamy and very fluffy. Next thing on our to-do list is to grab our two eggs and you're gonna lower the speed to a low speed and you're gonna drop one at a time, combine. Drop the next one, combine. Don't drop them at the same time. It's a science thing, baking is a science. We're gonna start with our first one and whip it up. Then our next one and whip it up. All right, cracking, one. The red smacking piece and go. That one is combined. Now, our last egg. Crack. Don't forget if you have a compost, compost these shells or put them in your garden. Both can happen. All right. Now, we mix our last egg. You want it to be well combined. No trace of an egg. All right. No egg remnants left, but inside our mixture. Now, our last step of mixing. We will be putting in our vanilla extract and we are going to be mixing again for three to four minutes. Get that last extra fluff. Buckle in, or just put it on, go run an errand in your house, come back. Whatever situation you got, I'll be here with my hand mixer, three to four minutes. Dump in now. All right, splatter. Three to four minutes, see you then. Trust the process, it's okay. You're gonna love these cookies. Alrighty, look at this. This is another four minutes. This is where we are at. This is about trusting the process because look how creamy this is. Oh my goodness, it's straight buttercream. Oh, butter cream. We just buttered our cream. I mean, we just creamed our butter. You know what I mean. Okay, now you're gonna keep this guy around. You're going to dump in your dry ingredients and on a low speed, mix until all combine. All right. Let's do it. Ooh, we'll do a little bit. Let's do a quick little whoop and then add the rest. You can tell well combined. Now, you might be wondering, Nicole, why have you not told me how long to preheat my oven? Um, hello, it should already been preheated. Thing is, these are better when they chill. So, you need to let these guys chill for about two hours, if not, overnight if you're gonna make them the next day. So if today's National Chip Cookie Day for you and you're making them on this day, start early than when you're wanting to serve them. If not, it's really not that big of a deal. It just adds to the cookie. The taste, the texture, it just, when things get more time to chill and combine together, mm, you know they're gonna be better. That is why I have not had you preheat your oven because you're gonna do that after two hours. You are gonna need about two baking sheets just to have everything loaded. And you're gonna put them on parchment paper. So you can get those set aside and ready and prepped for you if you want it. If not, you can wait two hours. But 
I'm gonna rinse my thingies and then we're gonna get some chocolate chips in here. If we're doing dark chocolate, you might not wanna do all the dark chocolate, you know, because dark chocolate is pretty bitter. All right, now we make sure they're well combined in here. Oh, we moving. It's powerful, powerful chocolate chips. We're gonna dump some more. Let the rain come down of chocolate chips. Okay, right. last little spinny room. Get all of these in there. Oh yeah. This part can also be a workout. See, and now it doesn't even look like that many chocolate chips. And make sure it's all combined together. Chocolate chip at every bite. And you're going to either put all this cookie dough, depending on how long you're gonna let it sit, in a airtight container or Lovely saran wrap. And we'll need two layers. Next one. Dun da 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 We are good. We are sealed. And we'll see this dough in about two hours. And I'll see you in two hours. All right. Putting them in the refrigerator. Seal. Signed, sealed, delivered. They're ours. Now, while our cookies are cooling and sitting together, in the refrigerator, I would like to chat with you about pet adoption. Like this cutie! I got her at the Long Beach Animal Shelter. And they were at critical capacity then, and they're still at critical capacity. Meaning, they do not have enough space for as much of those cute dogs and cats and hamsters and rabbits are coming through their doors. They need us? Yes. Yes, you. You too. So tell your friends and family members about Long Beach Animal Shelter if they're interested in adoption or if they just want to spread the word. All the information for pet adoption at the Long Beach Animal Shelter will be found in the description below. Sharing is caring for these cute little faces. Okay, I'll see you when our cookies are ready to bake. And we're back. Two hours later, two years later, we are chilled. This is a perfect time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and to line your baking sheets with parchment paper. I ran out of parchment paper after one, so I'm moving to foil on the other. And the difference would be, if you use foil, your cookies will probably have a darker, crispier bottom. So I'll have two different batches of two different kind of styles of cookies, and everyone has a different preference of a softer cookie or crispy cookie. So that works out. If you want one or the other, double down. And if you also don't have foil, you can just use butter and that fat will also create the situation of a darker bottom, a crispier bottom as well. You will need a scooper or a spoon. I'm gonna do tablespoon size cookies. Now, I have this guy if you want bakery style big boy cookies, but I don't want that today. I want many smaller ones. So just a tablespoon, scoop, roll, place. Let's do this thing. First scoop, beautiful. Then we're gonna roll it, boom, place, done deal. Keep it going. You also don't need to roll them perfect if you want that not perfect look, which, which is in, that's in. You don't need a perfect cookie, who needs a perfect cookie? Also, if you are deciding to do the bigger scoops and not just a tablespoon, then that means your cookies are gonna need to take longer in the oven. So be prepared for that as well. And you're gonna do them at two different batches. So the first batch you're gonna put in and you're gonna put them in for 12 minutes and at the eight minute mark, flip them. Give them another side of the oven. Change their scenery. Let them have some time. And then you're gonna take them out and you're gonna let them cool in the baking sheet and then you're gonna put it on a wired sheet after that. All right, we have our first batch of cookies. All right, 12 minutes. First batch, work on your second batch while you put your first batch in. Efficient. And we're back. Our cookies are out and I wanted to make a clarification. When I said eight minutes rotate, I meant after eight minutes of cooking rotate. So if you're putting them in for 12 minutes, that means at four minutes, rotate them. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you the difference between foil and parchment paper. Here's a parchment paper cookie. Here is a foil cookie. You can see on the foil cookie, it's a little bit darker and a little more golden brown. 
but they baked at the same exact time. And let's flip them. And these are what their bottoms look like. A little more brown and golden. This one's just a little softer, not as golden. But they baked at the same time, same temperature, just a different utensil to cook them. Foil or parchment paper? Your choice. Softer or crunchier? And they all still came out great. Now you have some lovely chocolate chip cookies to celebrate National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Thanks for joining me on Nala's Kitchen today, making some yummy, scrumptious cookies that we all love. Go and join them with yourself, with some friends, with some family members, with your dog, with your cat, whoever. Have some fun. Be proud of yourself. You just made scrumptious cookies. As always, I'm Nicole and this is Nala's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family members about Nala's Kitchen, of course, but also about pet adoption at the Long Beach Animal Shelter, which all the information will be found in the description below. Now go enjoy your cookies on National Cookie Day. Don't forget to stay seasoned and balanced.